Um, I today I'm going to talk about today, and uh, this is a chance. Whereas across the country, they're changing all the regulations of what we can do. I know for Tai Chi in the Okanagan, which is um, Wine Country Tai Chi Society, um, you are getting closer, being able to gather together, and. The executive board is uh, working away at finding the ways that you can start to be a client, which is very, very exciting. Uh, here, in uh, here in Cape Breton, we're not quite as far as uh, what BC has, so we are still in isolation, but uh, we're closer. We're much closer to the started back at day one, so day 72, there is hope. So navigate today is all of the things that you know from Tai Chi that are really, really important as you do go out to the community, as you gather with other people, and as you are thinking and acting positivity to do those activities. And uh, just to, to be confident that what you do with Tai Chi allows you to be strong and vibrant and to keep those thoughts in your mind. So oh, that's what I'm going to approach today. So first of all, we need to get the flow going because that is the key for everything. And the flow happening. After that, sky's the limit what you can go and participate in. So what I'm is I'm just going to move my computer back a little bit, set things up, and um, let's do. Let's do the foot exercises, because that's a great one. Seated to standing, Don, with the meridian tracings. And I'm going to add the little pieces in there. Because that is one of the really key tools that helps you if there are some systems that aren't quite good. You easily could do three steps, the first 17. So definitely, there's lots of things you can do for today because you might find them nice and easy especially if you get to sit outside with a cup of tea enjoy the flowers and the birds and in nature then this is a really good way okay so here goes we're almost to the end of isolation um all right so I was, um, oh my gosh, doing lots of research today. Next part of my dissertation. And one of the key pieces that came from some brain gym, uh, that a webinar I was a part of, was the significant. So in brain gym, they call it the calf standing. They do it uh, more like a calf rising up and back. They do it this way. And I thought it was kind of interesting that that's one of their key go-tos for the very first thing that they do to make sure that people are activated to keep their brain and body connected. So I thought that was a cool thing um, as they were going through it. We just do it. Okay, so we have that one. So let's get the second one. And remember, you're looking for a range of motion. So you could tap quick and you could tap down, but you actually want to come up and lift up. Okay. I'm wearing my Shim Sham Happens t-shirt. I just couldn't let go of yesterday being International Tap Dance Day. I felt like today I wanted to sit there. And uh, as my foot's tapping, I'm thinking about that thing. And uh, I'm not thinking just like get the blood going and get the energy up. Okay, so we go from here. And we've got side to side. I plants outside today. Beautiful music we had yesterday is outdoors, <laughs> so I don't have it with me. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it yesterday. Okay, and then we're going to come in. And yesterday I talked about you don't have speed, so if I'm going too quick, that means slow down, do your own pace, don't worry about keeping up to me. 
You're doing what's good for you. Your limbs is not able to do something, then you do it with one foot, and then I should mention something to think about is people always measure the foot that might be less mobile. It's not good. It's not the bad leg, it's the right and it's the left. And the second part is there is no bad about it. It just is what it is. But if you keep measuring it to the other side or measuring what it used to be, then it will never always set yourself up for disappointment. So instead of doing that, you go with maybe maybe the foot can only turn. That's totally fine. That's all you need. Hips already engaged, knees engaged, all the tissues working. You got whole body movement. That's it. Judge it for not being enough. And maybe the other foot can do more. That's fine. The foot can do. But you don't need to measure them that this one doesn't do enough. It does what it needs to. And it so I just want to throw that in there because sometimes people will judge what's going on. Okay, so. That was the toes, so let's do the heels. And you may notice that within the hip. So just letting that hip go. And somebody yesterday who uh, hit their head on the dryer um, got themselves. And so they called me early, early this morning and uh, how to help. And one of the things they asked me is they were going to be doing activities today. They didn't want to miss the activities, but how could they engage? And their activities, they always do standing. And what I said was, take the time, work at 40% effort to just be engaged and present. That was a new concept for them. So remembering to sit down, and I know you know that, but I start with these. Exercises and then people think, oh, you know, I wish you just stand up and there's so much more. But actually, there's so much more to sitting. It just shows you so much about your body, much different awareness of it. Okay, bring that back. And then the heels. So we're in and out. Let that back. And this again. Getting the flow going. You've been sitting in a chair or you haven't moved your legs all that much in an activity, then making sure you go again. It only helps you. Now we're doing the crawl, sliding, pointed toes, getting that open. And again, I'm bringing to you today to think about when you're going to be going. And yes, you're going to maybe have a mask on your face, and maybe you're in places you might not want to be yet, or you do want to gather safe. What you want to be is safe. So your energy, your focus is inward, so you're very aware of who you are. So you know any signs of anything changing. All right, and the second part is after you're centered and you're grounded, then what you want to be doing through the energy. Oh, there was a flash there. Hope we're still there. Okay, coming through. Sure that the energy is flowing, and when it's flowing, you have what they call coherence. That means, I've got a flex foot now, that means that the frequency or the vibration that is working at and is maintaining for the body, it has a coherence that's an, a nice balance. You, when you have that from doing Tai Chi, emanate that out to everyone else. So if you do get to gather, together for a Tai Chi class again, then know that the gathering part creates coherence because you all by doing Tai Chi and you also engage 
an energy flow. As long as you're not coming from a you want to let that go. And it's going to be by all of you being together in the same place. And the reason is your intention there creates then a human potential just by and deciding to yourself and deciding to support the whole rest of the class. But you have to have intention of success. You cannot go from the place of fear. What if I go into the building? What if somebody put the germs there? What if somebody breathed on me? What if you cannot go from that place? You have to go from a place of confidence and your intention. Your intention is coherence. Everything around you is solid. Everything is working as it should and the energy is flowing through. If you stop yourself, <laughs> then you're the one that changes coherence and you don't want that. So keep yourself in Let go of fear. You don't need it. You've done all the precautions. You what other methods? Distance. You can be engaged as a group, and that's really important. Okay, so we're there. Now, yesterday I did ball, and I did right over the top. If you wish to do that, <laughs> back down, flatten my ankle, or my toes are going, don't do that to me. Come back and down. So ball, toe, over, back, down. They definitely are cramping which tells me I still need to do some more work on letting go, which is the right side. The right side is how that energy flows out. So I have to quickly 